offensive side. So freshman Skyler Morningwood making his third start, throws it out in a flat to Pat, and he is wrapped up and down at 14 for the Gators. And here's Taylor, can't find a hole, wrapped up by Tim Smart. Turnovers on, on offense for Florida could lead to a blowout. Morning leg with time and underneath. It's caught at the 30-yard line, but short of the first down. On the 25-yard line, it's pulled in and then tackled. Skyler Morningwig, a quarterback. And they'll hand it off here to Kelvin Taylor, true freshman, son of Fred Taylor. They bring showers in motion. And here's Burton out of the wildcat with a big seam. In the Florida State Territory, inside the 35-yard line. The inside for Trey Burton. Take a look, run it, guys. You're going to see Valdez showers come in motion. That takes the linebacker, Smith, in. He gets the crease on the inside, and Trey Burton shows you he's got a little bit of wiggle left. It's playing his last game in the Florida Gators uniform, a great start. His 11th carry of the season, and it's a 50-yard run. Back to Taylor. Gang tackled. Half the third. Be some changes. High oh, snap. Burton able to corral and then brought down. Here's Matt Brown on the carry. And doesn't get much. Christian Jones. They got two yards in that previous play, Tom. Second down and eight. Morning leg has time. And the pass was woefully in. And hide behind the veil of got to be innovative. Right? It's hard to be innovative in a lot of the players. Here's Matt Brown shaking the tackle and getting up to the behind the eight ball. There's a screen to Showers. Got blockers out there. Showers went down. I'll assume a pass play on third down and five. Florida. Go for two on third down. Here comes pressure. Morningwood. Oh, and it was dropped. Pressure. Marcus, Lamarcus Joyner's going to come off the edge. Christian Jones off the edge. Both of them at the same time. And Joyner comes free. Gets a big hit on the quarterback. Solomon Patton has probably been the, the best and most consistent offensive player for Florida because of the lack of run defense by Florida. Best starting field position for the Gators as uh, Patton gets it on the end of the round. Run out of bounds by Florida. Can't have a turnover against Florida State. And the pass is caught from its own 42, electing to go for it. Joyer in front of Taylor. And Taylor got the first down. Ball, oh, they're playing great. Look at Joyer get a block on the edge on Mario Edwards. Their defensive line is playing fantastic. Challenge this offensive line to match the intensity of their defense on a four. Now call backed up in your own end, they got it. Florida State two wins away from playing for the BCS National Championship. Only leading 3-0 here as Morningwig is chased. Morningwood on second and ten, throws complete to nine Morningwood for 42 yards. On third down, Florida State coming with a blitz. Morningwood being chased and throws it away. A struggle for Alabama to contain Nick Marshall. But Florida starts at the 35 after Aguayo's kick goes out of bounds. Here's Showers on the screen, cuts it upfield and gets to the 47. See if Reese Davis can get that one. Oh, big hit by Edwards on the ball carry yard run for the first quarter. That was a blitz from Florida State. Morning leg. And showers can't make the defense. Third start for Skyler Morning Wig. And he's going to get drilled, and the ball is out. For Morning Wig. A lot of short passing. They'll run it here, and Kelvin Taylor stood up at the 42-yard line and pushed back by Tel And as Tom reported, with, with Trey Bird now, that changes things. They have plans for him in the Wildcat. Is, uh, it's a bad snap, and down goes Morningwood. The ball, and Trey Burton is hurt off the sideline. That's why they haven't been able to get anything started on off. Now you got to protect him, Morningwood, a chance for another high snap. And a short throw to him up forward, but he's not going to get the first down. So I think... 
if you're a Heisman voter, every, it's so subjective. Everybody has their different opinions in the way that they vote. As you see that run by Mac. First place votes to win it anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Third down and ten. Morning Rig in trouble. Gets absolutely hammered, but dumps it off on the screen to Mac Brown. And it's a first down. Any other quarter of football in the 2013 season to see who wants to fight when the chips are down. Mac Brown gets to. Showers gets the dump off and has room up the sideline. In eyes, but effort has got to be the signature, signature emblem of this team right now. Got a first down here, Tom, at the Florida State 46-yard line. As they fumble the exchange, it's covered up by the quarterback. They've had two different coordinators. And what do you do to change things up? Do you make a move at the offensive coordinator spot? Do you, do you change the whole offensive staff if you're Will Muschamp? And he did tell play. us there'd be changes made. conduct, number 22 on the defense. That's a 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. It's on Talvin Smith. The Muschamp didn't tell us. a situation ever since. I don't know if it's Jeff Driscoll. I don't know if it's the freshman Will Greer coming in next year, but that's where it has to start. Brown wrapped up at the point. An offense like they ran wherever Mile was here is that Brown is stacked up at the 30-yard line. What they've got to do is recruit better skilled players. And I think they're getting there with last year's class and this coming class. There's third and nine for Skyler Morningwig. And it's complete short of the first. Leading North Carolina if uh, the Blue Devils win, then they'll be the opponent for the Seminoles next week in the ACC title game. On fourth down and eight, Morningwig throws complete for a first down inside the... Looking for people that are going to make plays, continue to compete. And Troy Pittman matched up against LaMarcus Joyner, one of the better cover corners in college football. Great route by Pittman. And Skyler Morningwig stands in there under pressure. Mario Edwards coming in and makes the throw for a big fourth down conversion. They flex out Trenton Brown, a tackle into the slot. <laughs> and they throw it over the middle, and it gets deflected. And, and then that quarterback... And Here's Mac Brown on first and goal. He's to the five-yard line. Went to the Sugar Bowl last year. 7-1 in the SEC. As uh, Morning Rick throws, it's caught. It's a touchdown. Hold him. <laughs> first down on the floor to 25. Morningwood backing up, man. It's in and Christian Jones and their passing game with A.J. McCarron going up against this secondary and this defense for Florida State. I think it would be, I mean, it, it would be the colossal matchup for points. So... It would be a, a fantastic match. Third down and eight after the catch by Pat. Morningwood steps up and tackled short of the... Missouri, even in Ohio State, they have some glaring weaknesses in some areas that Florida State and Alabama could exploit significantly. Morningwood tackled short of the first down on fourth down. The 